Hi guys, welcome to another testing video. Today we're going to test floats, but not in the way you think we're going to test them. We're going to test how strong these attachment points are. Basically the webbing sewn and glued into this end cap piece. Obviously there's one on both sides. We're not going to pull on the long line clip. We're going to pull on the webbing itself. What I've done is I've taken two of these panels, glued them back to back. So you're pulling directly off each other, almost in sheer. Yeah, this would be slightly stronger because of the shape, whereas that's going to be worst case scenario. So this is just to give you an indication how strong the fabric and strap and our gluing techniques are. It's a little bit flat in position. It'll soon take up the strain and pull exactly where we need the loads to go. Set it at zero. See how this goes. Ripped out at around 100 kilos. Never seen one of these torn. I'm sure it'll be a lot stronger on the float because of the shape. That's very extreme. Everything started to fail simultaneously. Over 100 kilos. Unlikely you'll ever pull it that hard anyway. Remember this float is 35 liters. It'll only take 35 kilos of tension to pull this underwater. So you're never gonna load this float up to that degree. Hi guys, been a few days since we did this test. You would have seen that just previously. This destructed on one side. In retrospect, we felt that was pretty much a 90 degree tension against itself. Whereas in the actual float itself, it's got a curve to it and this will elongate. So we think we should get a, a higher brake strain on the actual float. This specific float was the one we tested a while ago where we stressed it to nearly five bar. It didn't destruct, but it's been fairly well stressed. So we're gonna pull this now on the straps as we did on the previous without the long line clip. And let's see how that goes. You can see that side, I can't see this side. Tell me if it starts to destruct. Getting a little bit of a slippage against the jig. That little jerk, jerk is also stressing it more than normal. Well, there we are over 200 way more than necessary. Remember this float will pull under at 35 kilos. Just see the end of the fabric starting to pull up. But wow, that's that strong. Still all right that side? Yeah, just starting to tear and there we're going over 250. No point in doing more than that. That was way more than needed. So as you see, we had 250 plus. On the long line clip and swivel, this will destruct at about 170, uh, unless you put a shackle. If you put a shackle like we did in line here, you're gonna get a much higher brake strain. But under normal use with the attached swivel and clip, you're only gonna get 170 kilos. So the float itself, way stronger than that. Remember your shooting line is probably your weak link anyway, which will be way less than this. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stand by for the next.